Hello everyone, my name is Scouter Trevor. Today I will be showing how I met The Great Eight Challenge. Week two, tarp troubles. It's finally time for adventure. Our scout group decided to head to the mountains for a hike. Time passed and it started to get dark. There was no way we were getting home before nightfall. We were prepared for a day hike, but we weren't prepared to spend the night. All we had was some water, a snack, and some rope. I brought a poncho along on our hike because I thought it was gonna rain. What would you do? Here's what I did. I kept calm. I was in the forest, I had a rope, and I knew my knots and lashings. I looked around. The forest floor was covered with leaves, grass, and other deadfall. There was some rather large fallen branches and smaller ones on the ground as well as on some of the trees themselves. Some of the branches that I found had some interesting shapes in them. Perhaps I could use this Y for something. I also found a pile of logs that somebody cut. Could I use these somehow? What about rocks? How could I use those in my shelter? I also found some odd shaped trees that might work out somehow. You can also use your boot laces as twine if you're in a pinch. You see, there's no need to worry. There's a lot of things in the forest that you can build a shelter with. I also found some trees that were pretty close together. Could I tie my rope between them and use that somehow? What would you do? Here's what I did. I needed to find two trees that were close together with enough room in between them so I could lie down. I needed to check the ground between the two trees to make sure I wasn't gonna sleep on an anthill or a rock or something worse. In one end of our rope, I quickly tied the bowline just like this. I then took our rope and I went around the tree like this. and passed it through the loop of our bowline. Bring it like that. Nice and tight. I'm now gonna take our rope here and tie a clove hitch around the other tree in the direction that the rope is coming out of the loop in our bowline knot. Here we have our rope tied with a bowline knot and the rope is going through the loop of the bowline knot, coming around to our other tree here where it is now tied up with a clove hitch. So now we have our rope secured to our trees and I have it low to the ground because when I lie down, I'm only gonna be about that tall. So I don't need this to be way up in the air. Now we'll take our poncho here that I brought in case it rained and we'll open it up and we can drape it over top of our rope. Here we have our poncho suspended between the rope and I've got the stick down here just to hold it all in place. To keep yourself warm in your shelter, gather as many leaves off the forest floor as you can get that will cover your body. You want to make a really big pile of leaves and then enter into the leaves feet first with your head sticking out. That will keep you really warm and insulated. But you might say, Scouter Trevor, what do you do if you don't have a poncho? Well, look around the forest some more. Maybe you could use something like this fallen tree. Remember these logs that somebody cut down? As an idea, if you can find enough of these logs, then you can lean them up against a tree, just like this. If you have enough, you can bring them all the way out this way. And with them leaning up against a tree, you can obviously see that you would have enough room to sleep underneath. You can also use evergreen branches to cover your shelter. Just look for the ones that fell on the ground. Remember that huge branch with a Y in it? Maybe you could utilize it like that. Use your rope to tie a square lashing around the branch and the tree. I hope you found this video quite helpful in building a shelter. There are many other kinds of shelters besides the ones I showed you today. Check out these ones that I found online. Let us know what kind of shelter you built in the comments below.